Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, somebody told me that I shouldn't be hand holding my phone while I'm driving, so I do have a clip I'm putting it on. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about my life. Um, I'll start with last year when I, I realized I was being followed. Um, since that time last year, I've been going through some really bad spiritual warfare. Um, two out of my four children don't talk to me. Can't see my grandson anymore. I have a, a granddaughter that um, I, I, I don't see. And um, let's see, I've moved 45 times in my life, never got evicted, always paid my rent on time, even with four kids. I got evicted from my apartment, victims of circumstances. Um, Go on and on and on. I could go one and on and on. Um, right before I got saved, I was dating a guy who wasn't really good for me. I, I know him since I was 19. He died in a car accident at 62. So I was married twice. Not not nice man. Really not nice man at all. And I haven't had that that happy of a life. I've been followed all my life. I grew up Catholic. I was the black sheep of the family. Now I know why. And I've been followed all my life. I, I used to um, sit on the kitchen floor with a big safety pin and try to take this tracking device out of my leg. It looked like a piece of lead. And I'm sitting there picking it out and nobody said anything to me like, what are you doing? This is from the dial. I hate pop. So, uh, so, I'm, I'm like in, in transition right now in my life. Um, I'm going to be moving on my own once I get a little bit of money put together. But there's so much that's happened in my life. And when you're followed, it's like, what, what do you tell the people that you meet? What do you tell them? Do you tell them everything? Tell them a little bit or you tell them nothing at all? Well, if they don't know about um, being a targeted individual, you don't say anything at all. And really, that you don't really need to be with that person if they can't understand where you are in your life. And then, so your other choice is to talk with somebody that is a targeted individual. They might not be as targeted as you are or not realize they are. So, it's just like, okay, if you meet somebody, I haven't really met anybody. I'm talking to somebody is really nice. But what do you tell them? Do you tell them everything or nothing at all? If you tell them too much, they're going to say, wow, you're really crazy. Well, I grew up in a, in a house with Ouija boards and crystal balls and demons and orbs that used to circle in my bedroom with a man's head in. I mean, some really, really weird stuff. I didn't ask for it. I didn't ask for it. It's just stuff that happened in my life. I've had acute respiratory distress syndrome four times. Nobody in this whole world's had it. Look it up. I'm sure nobody's had it four times. So um, I'm like a miracle to be here. I'm just trying to get through life just like everybody else, except it's a little bit um, harder when, when you're a targeted individual, but they don't bother me. I mean, they follow me all the time. I'm, I was follow, I just drove out of the development and was followed, so I'm like on the back, back street. Some orange vehicle, of course, the devil sign. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, um, a video next on devil sign, so, and um, album covers. There's a whole lot to be talking about. I've learned so much in the last year. So, um, why don't you give me your opinion? Should you tell them a little bit, or just a, or just lay it out there? Either way, a little bit or lay it out there. I'm the type I just lay it out there because I don't want to hear. Well, why didn't you tell me that before? 
I didn't know that. Well, you know everything. So I want everybody, I'm here with my little fox. I'm going to go get some Mylar blankets. Because so I think something's going going down soon. I'm kind of, I'm getting worried. I'm not I'm not fearful. I'm just getting worried. So I want everybody to have a great day. God loves you and make someone smile today.